last week the UN Secretary General brought together 120 world leaders to set new goals in response to climate change and uh, to plan for a further summit in 2015. We are conscious that as a church we have a responsibility to support these efforts. Uh, we had useful material already prepared in Cry of the Earth uh, that was first published in 2009. Why is Trogra uh, interested in this issue? Why is Trogra involved in this? Well, the answer is very simple. Um, all of the issues that we deal with um, in our daily work, this issue is very much at the apex. So if you take issues of peace and conflict, poverty, people's ability to produce food, people's ability to access water, people's ability to have a decent life. As the title of the pastoral letter says, this is about the cry of the earth. But I'd also say that this is about the cry of the poor. It's about the cry of the excluded, particularly women and children who rely on the earth to survive. And in some other ways, it's a silent cry. It's a silent cry of future generations who have no voice in this debate around climate change in the kind of world that they're going to inherit from us. So for Chopra, this is an issue fundamentally about human dignity and about human rights and about the values that are at the heart of Catholic social teaching. And I myself had the privilege of being in Malawi and Zimbabwe uh, last springtime and I saw at first hand the impact of the work that Chopra is doing on the ground. It was immensely proud uh, to know that people uh, really had gone to such great lengths to work with the poorest of communities to ensure that they have uh, a safe food supply into the near and medium future. Um, uh, essentially now, if an elderly person wants to have Mass on Sunday uh, to participate with the broadcast Mass, they'll have to have a digital radio, mm. or perhaps to have it on Serview, uh, their televisions maybe not in their bedroom, if they're bedroom. And uh, we think that uh, we would really like the public service broadcaster to think about the people that this will impact. Uh, we're we don't want to hold back change because we realise that digital technology is where it's at, digital communications, and we want to be part of that. But then next week, for two weeks, there will be a uh, what's called an extraordinary synod, which is a synod um, uh, with just the presidents or their delegates uh, of bishops conferences and uh, other lay people who will be there. And it will then lead on to another process which will be going on in the coming year until the, a synod will be celebrated in October 2015. So it's, um, it's a lengthy pro uh, process. Um, what exactly will be the outcome? It will be it would be wrong for me uh, to, to try and interpret the, the outcome of a process like this well in advance.